city of Detroit officials, they tell us they've spoken to a number of experts about what's taking place out here, and they all say they've never seen anything like this. It's a mystery in southwest Detroit. The ground began to swell slowly for a course of about 20 to 30 minutes. Right here at the intersection of Dearborn and Fort, a portion of the road now extends seven to eight feet high in the air. I actually live around the corner and you can actually smell the gas. It was like really, really strong. Holy it all started Saturday prior to the strong odor of gas. Workers at this business say they started noticing a shift in their building's foundation. DTE was called out and a short time later, water filled the building's basement. When employees were evacuated, they would soon see this ground rising. They said it wasn't a gas sink, but that's impossible because it really smelled like straight gas. A team of investigators, including DTE and Great Lakes Water Authority, are searching for answers. As a byproduct of what took place underground over the weekend, DTE was on site Monday, making repairs to a damaged 16-inch main. But once that's fixed, investigators still can't launch a full investigation until this unstable building comes down. Demolish the, uh, the building and make this site safe, then they'll begin excavating. As the search for answers continues, city officials make this clear. There was no explosion here, so that is the main point we want to get out. There was a slow growth of something that happened underneath. Um, their water is fine um, and they uh, have no uh, disruption. Uh, in their other utilities. We did not lose pressure below a pressure that would be concerning to residents, so we are confident that the water is safe to drink. Last month, DTE was called to this area for a report of a natural gas smell. DTE officials say a repair was made and safety equipment confirmed there was no longer a gas leak before they left. In fact, DTE officials say there is no indication that what happened over the weekend is related to the gas leak several weeks ago. There is no indication that that um, this was a result of a natural gas leak or a result of our infrastructure um, not operating as it should be. Back out here live during that press conference, officials presented a timeline for answers and they believe they should know what's going on out here around Wednesday or Thursday of this week. Back to you. All right, so to be clear, Ingrid, they have ruled out a natural gas explosion, but they're still looking into some possibilities. Any theories of what could have caused the road to buckle? I mean, it must have been something powerful. Hey. You would think, right? But they really don't have any answers. And until that building comes down, they really can't start their investigation. The building is unstable. And until it's demolished, which it could start tonight or tomorrow morning, they will not be able to properly start investigating. Back to you. All right, I'm sure a lot of people are looking for some answers, so hopefully we'll find out soon. Ingrid, right. thank you.